I remember a time when there were no kids, no car seats, and lots of stuff. Back to a time when life was simpler and wonderful. <laughs> when it was wonderful. <laughs> so in honor of that great memory today, I am doing a review of the 2013 Nissan Altima Coupe. And it's just a gorgeous spring day. I'm out on a back windy country road, just kicking it in the two door. Why am I just standing here talking to you? Beats me. Let's go take a look. But before I get started, I'm calling all dogs. So tell me who you have there. Princess. And she's an apple? Apple head chihuahua. And what is your name? Myrna. Well, I'm Tony. Hi, Tony. And I'm going to put you in one of my videos if you're okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> all right. All right, princess. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you're down to send me video of your hound or beagle or German Shepherd or boxer. You get the point. I don't discriminate. Don't be late. Send me footage of your hound. And I'll put that pooch in one of my upcoming videos. Okay, now I'm going to get back to work. The interior design of this vehicle is awesome if you like black and you like simple. While this vehicle's interior won't be winning any design awards anytime soon, it is solidly put together. It looks durable. Quality materials are used throughout the cabin. The vehicle feels sturdy. This seat here is nice and comfortable. I've had it out on the road for a while. No problems. The back seats are also pretty comfortable once you get into position. Now I'm an average guy about 5'9", and I have ample leg room. I'm a little bit cramped here on headroom, so if you're any taller than me, it may be an issue. But I don't feel claustrophobic back here. I mean, I could sit back here and kind of kick it for a moderate ride. If you're looking at this vehicle, the back seat is probably not your primary concern, but it is workable. I'd have to give it a thumbs up. Another really cool feature about this vehicle is the trunk space. It's got a pretty significant cargo hold for a coupe. And the seats also fold flat to allow for longer packages to be put through the trunk. Overall, if you're looking for a vehicle that's well built, you're not into the bling, you don't need a lot of tech, you just want something you can get in, gun it and go, well this could be the vehicle. All right, so now I'm going to talk about what ultimately is most important to driving experience. Now, the Altima has typically been a pretty solid car in terms of driving dynamics. And this two-door model is even more fun to drive. It's solid. It has a sporty, playful feel. The two-and-a-half liter engine certainly has enough power to get the job done. Out on the highway, you have smooth, consistent power for passing, for accelerating. In and around town, the vehicle feels quick, feels lively, the steering is nice and solid, and I'm not minding the CVT. It feels very athletic, the way a coupe should feel. This is just a fun vehicle to drive. Now, as you can see, there is some sightline obstruction here in the back, but it's not a deal breaker, and it tends to be the case in this type of vehicle. Now, overall, I've had a really good time driving it around. It's practical, it's sporty, it's peppy. I'm gonna have to give it a thumbs up. So there you have it, another honest auto review from an average guy. If you're in the market for carefree, affordable fun, you definitely have to put the 2013 Altima Coupe on your test drive list. And I'll see you next time.